Hello and welcome back to my garage here in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. So let's take a look around here real quick. I have moved things around. Uh, the Zonda I have moved up here. It's partially done. Uh, I've, it's cosmetically fixed up and the front end work is all finished. The rear end needs doing, so the engine isn't done. The rear drive stuff needs, needs done. Uh, the Mercedes 300 I have finished. The engine is all set, nice and pretty. I did change the wheels. There are some some stock Mercedes 300 wheels that are supposed to go on this car, but I decided that I like these spoke rims better. I think it looks nicer on the vintage car like this. So I went ahead and did that. And this one I've decided I'm keeping. So it is all completely done. The factory color was like this gray, sort of off-white. Uh, I painted it red because my cars are red and the value on it is $113,000 which is not bad since I'm keeping this one. We'll move this to the parking. Um, the Hellcat I have not done anything with after cosmetically fixing it up. It still needs all of its work done. I will get to that. As it's worth about a half a million dollars when it's finished. So I need to get that, I want to get that completely done and out of here. I noticed that they finally added the uh, the jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> I was waiting for this to show up. Since last year they had uh, the jack-o'-lantern. I think I thought they had the jack-o'-lantern in, in the garage like a week before Halloween. But it just now finally showed up today. And there aren't any other decorations. You would think they'd have like candles or something. Just the jack-o'-lantern. Christmas we will get different stuff too. But anyway, this this car over here is actually the fifth car that I bought of those five cars that I bought the other day that I mentioned. And this is a GT350 wide body. And I'm decided I'm going to go ahead and do this car because it's a cool car. I'm a fan of these. And it'll be a nice nice one to finish up and get sold. The body kit on it looks really sharp. Uh, do I have everything? Yeah. Plus, this is just an extremely well done mod. So I really enjoy doing these. Are there any clips on you? No. And nothing in the interior. So I think it just I think it just takes Mustang seats. Yeah, must steering wheel Mustang and seat Mustang front plates. Okay, and I think the back the back seat on it I think is part of the mod, part of the the body, or I, or else it just has a bench back there. I don't remember. What do we got here? Radiator, air filter stuff. I'm just gonna buy a battery. I don't feel like fooling around with the charger. Need to buy. Oops. Gonna need to buy clips and an air filter. I paused there because I didn't know which radiator fan housing it was gonna want. And it's always a good idea to know what you need to buy before you buy it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so now I need to go through and get rid of things. Bought that, and that, and that, that, and that, and that. We're going to have to be careful with the body parts, though. So, wide body. Looks like a lot of this stuff says wide body, so that might make it easier. Okay, yeah. Wide body. Wide body. Let's just see if I didn't screw this up. Front fender C. There we go. I think I actually bought all the correct parts. So the doors are just the base doors. And the hood was hood C. It only appears to be one of each wind body window. So trunk C. Uh, I knew there'd be a wing or something back here. Front end C. Rear clamshell C. Well, let, wait a minute. Let's not get out of hand here. Left tail light, right tail light, rear clamshell C, since we're working on the back end. <laughs> Size of that thing. Yeah, there's a clamshell that goes in there. I can see it. So, oh, I have a headlight there that didn't come out. Okay, left, right, headlight, front end C, front window. No, it was front end E, wasn't it? Oh, I'm going to have to look again. I swear I get distracted way too easily. It's like, squirrel! That should have us down to just a few bits now. Front end C, front clamshell E. So it does want this one. 
front end C, front clamshell E, There we go. Okay, so now the body should all be put together. No, it's not. What am I missing? Engine cover. Ah. There we go. Now the body should be 100%. Oh, it's always fun. I have some excess garbage in here. I'm going to hang on to these though because I'm going to need these for the, uh, the engine and the Zonda. Okay, let's move you over here. get our equipment together so we can clean it up. Okay, so now we need to rip out the exhaust stuff, fuel tank, catalytic converter, Okay, so that's going to be... Now I think this pipe V8A we can actually get here. Nope, I lied. Err. Almost forgot to get my fuel filter, fuel pump, and now I'm going to need them. And we want front exhaust pipe V8A. Oh, <laughs> I bought the uh, fuel pump, but I didn't buy the tank. Okay, so cosmetic stuff is all in. Let's paint it real quick so that we don't have to look at the mismatched body parts any longer. I rather like this color, too. It's kind of a kind of a light, kind of a light ocean green. I think I'll put stripes on it. Well, actually, the black roof might look good. Yeah, I think I'll do that. That looks pretty cool, actually. Actually, something just occurred to me. I wonder how it would look. Do that, and do that. I think we'll try that. I think the, 
I think the chrome is a bit too much on this color, but I think the chameleon might work. So, so I spent $2,000 painting the car. This is seriously my least favorite work, uh, rear end to work on because it's got so many little bits. The leaf spring rear end is so much easier. So it helps I have done so many of these. I know exactly <laughs> which bits to throw away. Because the sway the sway bars and the sway end links are not repairable, so they just go into the trash. And there's 16 bushings. There's eight of each kind, small and large. So all that just goes into the garbage. Along with the shock absorbers and the springs. And usually the the, sh the shock caps as well. Sometimes the uh, I think it's the, I think it's called, I'm, I'm blanking on the name of it now, but the thing that goes on the bottom of the stack where the spring is is sits on top of the axle there. Sometimes those you can repair. Usually I end up repairing like one of them. So a lot of the times I don't even bother. I just flush the whole thing and start over. I do like to reuse what I can though. Almost there. Okay. I want to think about the uh, wheels too, about using something different. Okay, so that's eight of each kind of bushing. And I flush the brakes. So we buy all new all new rear brakes. And then those rear shocks were shock A. I keep getting only one thing. I mean to buy two and I get one. I think I'm pounding them too fast. Uh, I don't remember which rear sway bar it was. Rear sway bar B. And I'm going to need hub bearings. Probably going to need the wheel hub 3 as well. You know what? I'm just going to nuke all these.
I hope that was actually a rear wheel hub and not rear wheel hub B. <laughs> what the hell was I doing here? Okay. Get rid of this stuff. That drive shaft is probably going to break too. And that was gearbox V8. And let's do this for let's do this ahead of time for once. Okay, that's the potentially repairable stuff. Let's see if we can save any of it. Huh, I didn't see anything break. Uh, okay, so this repair, this is nice. So that'll sell for 750 bucks. Always like doing that instead of selling it for scrap value. So I need like one of each rear suspension arm. And that was A and B and the curved one. Drive shaft, rear axle, knuckle housing A. Drive shaft, you just hit gearbox for that. So let's look at these wheels now. These are the black Rim Retro 7. That's the black one. And I, I think I want to do something a little bit brighter. If I just chrome this, it's just gonna it's just gonna color over the black, which is probably not a bad idea. This is a good wheel. I'm thinking retro five, maybe. Classic six. Cause I'm in the mood for some spoke. I'm in the mood for for something like this. I think those were 19 inch, I hope. Yeah, 19. 325, 35, 19. $2,200 for those tires. That's going to be a big wheel, too. Okay, let's get those mounted and see how they look. Yeah, I think that's going to be okay. I think that's going to be exactly the kind of look I want. Thirty-five, nineteen. So I got the size correct. I'm gonna wait for this one and get this one going. By the time I finish on this side, that other tire will be done. Actually, it's probably done now. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. The other one, the the wheel is kind of, I mean, it, the, the, the center part is deep, you know, compared to the other one. This one has more, it's not as deep, but it still has some um, some depth. I mean, there's still a curve to it. It's not just a flat plate. Plus, I just like that look better. For as much of a pain in the butt working on this kind of rear end is, it does look really good when it's all done. It's all put together with a shiny new metal. I just never get tired of it. Where are we at now? 148,000? Don't even remember what I paid for the car. Probably like 50 or 60 grand. I don't remember what it was when we started either. I should really pay attention to these things. I'd see we're dealing with front shock absorber A, so that means there won't be an upper suspension arm. There'll be fewer bushings to deal with here. Did I get that? No, I didn't. Don't want to leave one side of the car until I'm ready. a view from inside the tire there. what's here it's got he it's it's got heads on it alternator front end the timing stuff is there one exhaust manifold intake manifolds not there no oil pan there like never is an oil pan on a, on a junkyard car um, I'm gonna take these now there's only two of them if I can repair them it'll be fine but I'll have to buy camshaft caps and Crank, crankshaft caps and uh, connecting rod caps. That's it. Con rod caps. Got myself all messed up there for a second. Okay, so eight of these. And we'll go ahead and nuke the front brakes. Sway bar B, front sway link A, and probably get that one front wheel hub back.
Okay. I have a feeling I have missed something. Did I just buy these already and I'm buying them again? No. <laughs> okay, tie rods. keep only I normally hit that and I and I hit the arrow button to get more than one item but for some reason it keeps only giving me one wonder if my keyboard needs to be cleaned or something see look I did it again wouldn't surprise me my keyboard is old Okay, this can go, and this can go. Repaired one of those rod gaps. Didn't repair the cross member. Which one was it? Was it C? No, it's probably D. It is D. So I have one rod cap. And since I went ahead and took it off early, we'll get our three crank caps, seven rod caps. And we'll get the V8 oil stuff since we know we need it. That takes us down to these tires. Now those are 19s, just like the back. And those tires are, yeah, 325, 35, 19, so they're just as big on the back, on the front. Okay, get out of the paint booth before we suffocate ourselves. Okay, 325, 35, 19, we match the wheel and tire, so we're good to go there. I'm just going to, there we go, I was going to say I'm just going to wait for that to finish, but it finished. Let's move you over here, no. Get that there because we're going to need it in a minute.
almost there. Halfway home. Yeah, that looks good. I can't wait to get it outside. See what it looks like in the sunlight. Check it out. Looks like a looks like a real live car now. Kind of thinking I should put black stripes on it to set off the color more. Have to think about that a little bit. Did that say it was a supercharged engine? I think it did. Which means this thing is going to be an absolute monster. Why? Oh, I see. <laughs> I was like, why is it not moving? And that's, that's why. That means there's going to be spark plugs there. about you? You got spark plugs? No. And like, everything we're taking off right now is going to be replaced with performance parts. What isn't is going to be thrown away and replaced with new parts. Okay, now, first thing I'm going to do is get rid of pistons and spark plugs and, and uh, ignition coils, all things that uh, we're not going to reuse because they can't be, well, they can't be repaired and we're not going to reuse them anyway. So we need to go get piston rings. While we're here, I need five of these, two of these, crankshaft pulley, water pump pulley, gonna need a water pump V8, timing V8, I need two of these belts, I need four cam gears, and a belt tensioner, coil covers for the head covers, a 
Okay, now come over here and get alternator. Spark plugs, ignition coils, gonna need a power steering pump. Oh, I almost forgot. Int exhaust manifold V8. Since this is a supercharger, it's not gonna be the supercharged manifold's not in here. A head. V8 camshaft. So stuff that is not repairable. What I have lately been trying to do is repair parts and sell them rather than just junk them. But I always have to be careful because I don't want to accidentally reuse like a old. Let's see, that was one hundred and ten dollars for that camshaft, as opposed to eleven dollars for scrap. This engine head, this head, scrap seventy three dollars, full price seven hundred and fifty dollars. This manifold I repaired, forty two bucks. <laughs> so it isn't worth anything anyway. That was barely worth doing. The alternator we didn't repair, but we've replaced that already. And I'm going to need an engine block. Supercharger V8. And I need not B, but super tar uh, Serpentine Belt A V8, which is there. Something just went through my head. I need... And I need a throttle. I think that's darn near everything. We'll find out. I always like to bolt the crank, uh, crankshaft down first. I mean, the game doesn't care, but I, I like to do it this way. Oops. Missed something rather important there. I just, I really like the look of the inside of the crankcase, you know, when when all the parts are in there, and it, it just, I wish you could see it move. It looks so cool. I actually don't know how they model it. Um, I wonder if... 
Because like some, there's another game I play. The developers are really, really communicative, and when you ask how they modeled something, they'll tell you. And I kind of wonder if when you build one of these engines with all these individual parts, and then you run the car like on the dyno or take it out on the test track, are all those parts actually doing what they're supposed to be doing, or it, or when you just assemble it? it doesn't actually move at all. It just, you put everything together and it, it, it says it's running and you can hear the engine running and you can drive the car, but nothing is happening inside the crankcase. That's, I kind of wonder about these things. I think it'd be cool though. If you could get in there and see, you know the 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 crank the the crankshaft turning and the pistons moving and the camshaft spinning and the water pump doing its thing, and I think that'd be really cool. I imagine it would be a lot of overhead on the CPU and everything, though, having to model all that stuff all the time. This is one I've done enough times that I remember, because the the five roller bees, you can see them all right there. You only see wh what? Oh, did I do the? I did it the other. I did it the other way. I did it. Oh, jeez. I was gonna say that you need five of these and two of those. I just bought more of those than I need, but I'll use them anyway. Anywho, you can see the five roller bees right away. They're all they're all already here in the ghost mode. The the fifth roller A actually appears over here after you install the second belt. And that's why I always remember that I need five B's and two A's. I'm pretty sure I even said that too when I bought them, but I bought five A's and two B's. Just got to get that throttle on there, and we're s and we're set. Okay, power pack is ready to go. Does that say? It says performance. It says performance on that thing, but I can't quite see the other word. Maybe from the other direction. Forward performance, it says. Carbon fiber composite. I really like this mod, though. This is a really well done mod. There's like four or five, four or five or six different GT350s that you get in the mod when you when you download it. It's totally worth doing though. Totally worth it if you like doing Mustangs and you like doing just cool cars in general. so happy <laughs> that I actually bought the starter ahead of time for once. Because that should be... Yep, she's 100% done, so now we can test it out. 
It's like an 1100 horsepower engine. Yeah, 793. Pretty sure it's like 1143 or something like that when it's done. expected. I was thinking about t taking it and changing the... To put, I was thinking of taking and changing the paint slightly to put the black stripes on it, but that would take off the black roof. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with this. Now we have to go and see if we can control this car. Okay, so... Yeah, it does look better out here than... I, it does look better out here. I thought it would. The, uh... I don't think the chameleon. I haven't. The chameleon paint sometimes works really well. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't think it works so well with this color. It works better with like a a nice royal blue or maybe a forest green. I think it works better with that. With this color, it's like it's not quite sure what to do. It still looks good though, and I really like. I really like the way the wheels set it off. The chrome wheels really works for me here. Yeah. Cool. All right. So, what does it say on there? It says, does it say? Oh, it says Shelby. Okay. Cool. Let's see if we can drive this thing. Whoa! No! 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 <laughs> okay. Well, that's exciting. Six. Yeah, when I was at f when I every time it shifted gears, it would try to get away. So I had to really pay attention to how I was driving there to keep keep it in a straight line. I guess I, I would really have to put slick tires on it if you were going to drive it. You know, for any for anything other than driving, you'd have to put slick tires on it really on a racetrack. And driving it on a street would probably be suicidal for most people. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, so after cartwheeling down the test tra down the speed track there, we uh, built ourselves a pretty nice looking little car here. I'm pretty pleased with it. I like how it looks. I like how it, I like how my, how powerful it is. Uh, if I was going to drive it seriously, like I said, I would put slick tires on it. But since this is this is going to be a a sell sale car, go ahead and get it out the door. Uh, this is like 250, a little bit more. No, 260, 270 grand. Two hundred seventy-three thousand dollars. Yeah, definitely worth definitely worth the time. I kind of I actually kind of prefer the other GT three fifties that don't have the supercharged engine because they're more drivable. This would this would require car with this level of power would require uh, you know somebody with experience and training. Otherwise, they're just going to go out and die. But that's not our problem, is it? Go ahead and sell the car. All right, so that's going to wrap it up here. Actually, I think you know. I'm not sure how much. This is 800 horsepower factory, and I don't. But I don't think I don't think fully built out 
one of these V12s has that kind of horsepower. But anyway, so that's going to wrap this one up. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you again here for our next junkyard adventure. I'll leave you with our smiling friend here. So on that note, bye for now.